A few days ago, we went to Linyu Waterfall, the global geopark certified by UNESCO. But before I describe to you the scene, I'll walk with you there. Perhaps you experience the journey from my perspective first. I went with a group of my classmates consisting of 30 people from Hama village. Roughly, I was a team leader, taking care of a group of three little kids. We started fine with lots of energy to spare. Food, water, shoes, hats, clothes were all well prepared. The road was a bumpy or rough or as flat as summit ones. We first encountered problems when lush forests replaced the countryside path. Navigation was difficult. Slipping was a common occurrence. Thankfully, I only stumbled once. We walked through jungles to finally arrive at the river. The raging water tore the air with its sound as we prepared to cross. A few boulders stood as footholds, though with sharp edge cut out toes. Our clothes were damned, but our spirits weren't, so we continued marching. Soon, we arrived at a cemetery road. Guess what? Leading to the waterfall. Unfortunately, there were landslides there recently. So climbing was the only way down. That caused me to get bitten by fire ants. But it was a very nerve-wracking experience, as horrible things could have happened. Traveling we were, and before we knew it, we were there. We were at Linu Waterfall. I gazed at its beauty, unable to speak. It wasn't like a waterfall, but looked more like a lake, from what can be assumed a lake above. But miraculously, it formed the shape of a waterfall. It must have been there for a long time, because there was a cave carved behind it. The cave has these perfectly shaped pentagon rock formations that resembled something unnatural. Greenery surrounded us mosses and grubs, shrubs. It was, and it still is, a once-in-a-lifetime sight. After playing in the water, we settled down to have lunch. We were all hungry and thirsty after a long journey. Later, some took a swim in a nearby river, while others rock skipped. We were eager to go home, not by foot, but by car. Why? Because we were exhausted after all the walkings that we've done. Though exhausted, I had to admit, the trip was more than I expected. More exhausting, more educational, and much, much more fun. If I were to give a, the track a rating of 4.5 out of 5, would be just right. Trekking is challenging, no matter how used you are to it. Traveling to forests and rivers won't be much easier. But the journey is only there to test you, to test your determination and your will. Would you give up or would you not? If you don't give up, magnificent creations of nature's Arrive, await your arrival. I can only remember my indescribable feeling when I arrived at the waterfall and the feeling of wanting to give up, go back, and pretend it like I did it while trekking. But I didn't. And through that, I learned to never give up, no matter what. Maybe you're preparing for a hike. That's the case. Remember, never give up till the very end. Thank you for listening.